Hey guys, um, Honer Blues Bender Reboot. Honer for a long time has had some cheap harmonicas uh, like the blues band, uh, the old standby, the what is it, Pocket Pal. Uh, truly awful harmonicas, and I think they got tired of having their shorts handed to them by uh, all these Asian manufacturers like Kongsheng and Eastop and uh, those guys, who who were making really pretty good harmonicas for not much money, and uh, they decided, genug, fertig, don't want to do that anymore, uh, let's put out a good cheap harmonica, and this one uh, promises to have professional level read set up. Not sure what that means. It means probably that they paid somebody to set up the reeds. Um, but I opened the, the harp up and the, the gaps were set really, really well. It was playable out of the box. Overblow anybody? Maybe with some tweaking you could get that to work too. Um, tone is a little thin, but you know, it's not too bad. It compares okay with some of these other uh, inexpensive harps. Uh, Kong Sheng. Um, this one's a little bit reedier, but not quite as reedy, for example, as the East Top. I think the construction of the e-stop is probably a little better and is still, I think, the king of the low-cost harmonicas. Um, but this is a perfectly fair entry into the market for Honer, and it carries that all-important Honer brand name. Um, 22 bucks, a little bit more expensive than the usual suspects that I just played. But again, uh, you really don't need to mess with this one out of the box, at least the one that I have. And I can't say anything about the durability because I haven't had this one for very long. Um, but I think Honer did well uh, putting this one together for not a whole lot of money. That's my take. Uh, good job, guys.